Sagittarius. What's up? Let's take a deep breath, Sagittarius. I have a lot of Sags in my life. My fellow fire signs. Who comes for you is Vesta. The goddess Vesta. She is the Roman goddess of home and hearth. Vesta is a fire goddess who brings warmth to households both as a temperature and as an emotion. In ancient Rome, a temple in her honor bore a flame that burned continually. Call upon Vesta to oversee any changes you'd like to make in your living situation. Vesta says, your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. Maybe you're getting ready to kick somebody out. Maybe something is over. Maybe you're getting ready to move out. Maybe you're buying a new home. You're moving into a new home. Vesta's bringing you blessings. No matter what this change is, this change is for your good. Vesta says, there's an undying flame within your soul and it is the light, seed, and spark of your consciousness, Sagittarius. Your outer world reflects your inner world. Pay attention to that. Your outer world reflects your inner world. What does your house look like right now? What does your bedroom look like right now? What does your closet look like right now? What does your desk look like? What does your kitchen look like, right? All of these things are a reflection of our spirit. And I'm looking around at my own room and all of the shit that I have everywhere on my desk, things that, I have, that have to be hung. How can we declutter and get clear? How can we call forth that clarity that we want internally, that peacefulness that we want internally? Does your environment, Sagittarius, reflect what you're feeling internally? Is your house warm? Is it filled with harmony and love? Is there music playing? Is there laughter? Are there sweet things? Are there flowers? Is there art hanging on the walls? To increase your energy level in the house, let's make some shifts. Let's reorganize. Let's change the furniture. Let's switch with it where things live. Here the message for you is that you're either moving or just moved or someone is moving out. Also, she confirms that there is increased romance in your relationships, harmony in the home. You're clearing the space, but also com she's confirming that your house, your home is your sanctuary and meant to be felt to feel safe. And you are to know that it is protected, you know, it's protected because I believe that we have spirits that protect us. But I'll also on this new moon, you're being called to protect your space. So we're going to get to limpiando, doing a spiritual limpieza, right? Whether it's smudging, whether it's lighting candles, whether it's, you know, using spiritual baths that I sell. So if you'd, want a, if you'd like a spiritual bath, please go to my, my Etsy store, go to my link in my, in my bio. Um, I have specific baths for specific things. Um to help you spiritually to clear the space, to cleanse the space. And so under this hunter full moon in Aries, you, we're being called to protect our home, our home internally, right? Our sacred space, our sacred home, our spirit, our heart, our, our soul, our mind, our bodies, that's home. And then our home where we reside, right? And so let's really spend some time under this new moon in Aries to take care of our home to call forth the things that we want to see in our home. If you'd like a full reading, hit me up, lasantera.nyc at gmail.com. Peace.